welcome back to Together with Ben Core Java Learning Series 1. Today we're going to take a look at bus game using modular expression. And let's add the steps that we will be doing. We are going to get the user input. Ask user to enter an integer. Then we'll check and see if this integer is divisible by 3 and 5. If it's divisible, we can return buzz, and if not divisible, we can return try again or no buzz or anything similar. Let's create our scanner object. Scanner object will allow us to capture user input. And check out the line 3. You have to have this import java.util.scanner. Let's create an integer, and then we'll initialize that with the scanner object. At this point, we don't have to initialize it, but we can initialize it at a later turn. Also, we'll create a string object so we can store the result. At first, we don't have to initialize both of them, but later on, they will need to be initialized. Now, let's ask user to enter a number. And this is where we will initialize the number. But first, let's add a message. To be displayed and now we initialize number with scanner object and the next int method will capture integers next up let's create the if statement block and check out the logic and we have to use the modular expression so if the remainder is zero we know that the number is divisible by three and five so a proper way of doing it is, as an example, you add the number that you declared above and percent sign with 5. This is only divisible by 5 and you have to repeat the steps with end operator. Together, both of them will justify that the number can be divided by 3 and 5. So if number is dividing into 3 and has no remainder, or remainder is 0, same goes for 5. If it has remainder 0, that means they are divisible. And we are using AND operator. Both conditions must be true. And at this point, we can store the message inside the string object. So we are going to say result equals buzz, or you can add extra message to it. You can also display the number along with and say this number is divisible by 3 and 5. And now we have to move on to the else block. In the else block, we have to initialize a result with another message. If you happen to learn about exceptions, you can throw new exceptions here. So basically, we are saying the number input is not divisible by 3 and 5. And we say result equals try again. And we can add additional message. This number is not divisible by 3 and 5. And lastly, we are going to add our statements to print out result. That's all. And let's execute. And we'll enter value 15. Because we know value 15 will be divisible by 3 and 5. So let's put 15. And press enter. Okay. Buzz, buzz. The number 15 is divisible by 3 and 5. Got it. Let's put the output for comparison. And we are going to try a number that's not divisible by 3 and 5. And let's check out the output. It should show try again and tell you the number is not divisible by 3 and 5. Let's execute. Let's add 17. Try again. 17 is not divisible by 3 and 5. Got it. Let's take this output. We can do comparison between 15 and 17. All right, that concludes today's lesson. I will be sharing the source code in the description. Feel free to ask questions. Should you have questions, always ask. Until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Let me show you the overview of the code. Starting from the top, you will see the scanner object and then two variables, 
string result and int number. And then we initialize number with scanner.nextInt as user's input. Then we have our if block, if then else. Speaking of which, if then else can be converted into ternary operator, which will be next up. We will be learning about ternary operator and we will put it into good use. Until next time, thanks again. Thank you.